Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to continue with our tutorial. Um, last check we were dealing with the pad situation um, and it's coming along quite nicely. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, a few parameters to the mod wheel. So let's uh, just select the mod wheel and if you um, use this portion of the uh, modulation bus routing system what you can do is you can apply two parameters to the same thing. So the mod wheel we're going to give it um, an amount of 75 and this is going to go to the filter 3 X amount and then we're also going to give this a parameter of about 72 and this is going to be applied to filter 2's resonance. Okay, so the resonance is going to go up and the filter X is going to go up as well. Um, so that done, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to create another matrix. I'm going to hold down the shift key, create the matrix, and we're going to use this, the curve. We're going to flip it around. We're going to make the curve bipolar. Okay, and we're going to take the curve value, and we're going to send that to the filter one frequency. Okay, so that's going to control this frequency, and we're going to send it up and down. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do hold uh, shift key down, and it'll create this kind of an effect, and then hold it down again and it will go down here. So let's just do this over again, just a little bit more. And now what's going to happen is it's going to sound kind of like this. We'll just listen to the pad solo. Okay, that's with everything running. Okay, so I'm going to call this the Pad sequencer. I'm going to call this the filter frequency. Actually, let's call it pad filter frequency. And then I'm going to create a track for the pad filter frequency. And I'm also going to go back. I'm going to create a track for the sequencer as well. I'm going to put the sequencer on top. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have four different patterns on here, so we're going to edit the automation here. I'm going to go into here, I'm going to create uh, a couple of, whoops, I'm going to create this, I'm going to copy this pattern five times. I'm going to leave these two as A1, I'm going to leave this one as A2, I'm going to put this one as A3, and this one as A4. And then I'm going to change the colors so that we can distinguish what's what. Okay, good enough. Um, now also what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pattern that's eight bars long I'm going to put the loop mark at the beginning, the uh, the left mark at the beginning, and the right mark on um, the beginning of bar 9. I'm going to right click and I'm going to select insert bars between locators. So this is going to be our intro. So now to create our intro, what I want to do is I also want to create just a four bar, four to the floor loop for the kick. So I'm going to go back in um, with our pad created. Let's close this stuff. Got our mod wheel here. Um, also on the mod wheel, I'll click the edit automation, go down to our pad, I'm gonna create this. It's gonna be, let's see how long we want it. I want it to be the length of this entirety. Click inside it, select the pen tool, the pencil tool. I'm gonna create just a ramp upward. Okay. Uh, let's go back to song mode. Then I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to also create another pattern or another clip here. Take our hand tool. This is going to be at 127. Go back here. Take this. Whoops, take this, position, okay, that's going to be 127. 
Then in here, this parameter is going to be 127. I'm just going to input it. Click Enter. I'm going to take this parameter. This is going to be 0. Click Enter. And then I'm going to take this whole thing, and I'm going to duplicate it once again. I'm going to duplicate it over here to leave two bars where it's at 0. So that's essentially what I'm going to do with the mod wheel. Um, the other thing, what I'm going to do over here, is I'm going to take a copy of this. Actually, before I do that, let's go back in. Um, we're done with the pad, so we don't really need this anymore. So let's just unclick the devices. Let's close that up. Let's open up our kick drum again. Let's go back into our kick here. Now we've got patterns on pattern 1 and pattern 2 is our roll, our drum roll. So pattern 3 we're just going to create a very simple 4 to the floor rhythm. Okay. And it's going to sound like, let's take off that, it's going to sound like that. Okay. Now that, we'll just copy this pattern over here. Copy it twice, and then we'll join the pattern, join the clips, rather. Change this to loop 3, and we're going to move it. No, actually, we're going to keep it right there. Um, actually, I got it on the wrong track. Sorry. This is not the right one. That's the base. So we're going to keep it over here. This is going to be pattern A3, and then it's going to have a drum roll that's going to come right there. Okay, so the drum roll is going to lead up to it. Now, what we'll have is we'll have something like this. Okay, so good enough. Now, what we're also going to do is we're going to go back in here. We're going to take a look. So on pattern uh, number one and number three, we've got something similar. We've got a similar roll going on. So what I want to do, um, just so I can hear this, I'm going to just loop these points. I'm going to loop this to here so I can keep hearing it over and over. Okay. Now, what I want to do for this loop is I want to take the curve value for number one take the curve, and the curve is going to go into the subtractor's oscillator pitch. And we're just going to pitch it up a little bit on each of these beats. Okay, we're going to copy that. Actually, no, we're not going to copy it. We're going to go to number three. We're going to do the same thing just some slight variations in the pitch. Whoops. Okay. And then for the roll, we're going to pitch it slightly upward. So we're going to hold down our shift key. done there. And now we're going to start to shape our song a little bit more. So we've got two bars of the of the basic kick drum and let's just hear the whole thing how that's going to sound. Everything's not soloed, so we'll play it. Okay. Now, we don't want to have um, the snare drum and the hi-hat playing at the same time here. We don't want to have that going on. So, what we'll do is we'll take the snare, we'll open that up. And we'll just edit the automation of the snare. And then for the automation on the snare, what we'll do is we will only have it going for this amount. And then we're going to have it go completely through to the end. And let's also take, uh, let's have it stop there. And then let's also take, actually, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to take this pattern. Then we're going to continue this pattern through to the end, right 
there, and then this, we will leave it trailing off there. Okay, now we also want to go to the hi hats. So let's go to the hi hats. Let's open it up. We'll open up the matrix for that. Right click, edit automation on that. And over here, we're going to do a little bit of automation. We are going to have it go here. Also going to have it go, let's see, one, two, have it start there. And let's see how that sounds. Okay. The other thing we want to do is we want to take these two and copy them over from the beginning over here. So our plat pads are playing first, then we've got our kick drum, our hi-hats, our snares, and then the drum roll comes in. Okay, now I don't like to have this pattern playing first, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this, I'm going to... Uh, copy it over here, or I'm going to take it, I'm going to place it over here, I'm going to leave two bars between, I'm going to take pattern A4, I'm going to copy that, and have it over here, and I'm only going to have it start there. So let's hear how that sounds. Bass comes in, and then our lead will come in. Pretty good. So let's copy this lead section and let's put it over here. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a bit of a break. Um, we're going to take this, we're going to copy this over as well, over here. Let's have it start over there. And um, that's pretty much it for now. So uh, stay with me and I will continue with the song in the next uh, tutorial. Thanks for watching. Again, I'm Rob. Come visit me at reason101.net where I will show you all of this and I will eventually, once this is finished, I will make the files available so that you can actually play with it, do remixes of it, do whatever you want to this song. Thanks for watching.